So first up, it's going to be Naga first, and then Mountain King first. Something you Hi, what do you do against human if they get away with MK fast exponent and turtle to air? How to win against this with orc? You need to go to tier three, make your own tiny great hole. Ah, okay. Okay, Team Killer, don't make those jokes, okay, with those emotes. I see why you're timed out now. Okay, you can time him out again, Decepti. Or you can leave it as a warning, up to you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you want to go to Tier 3, get your tiny Great Hall ASAP and counter expand. You want to deny him every and all creeps if you can. Which means getting a Raider with Walker and Shadowhunter fast. And... Uh, don't lose your raider before you get spirit link on it. As soon as you have spirit link on raider, you can fight and with ensnare. So you will try to resist the mountain king footman mercenary push that they usually do. If they don't do it, all the better. That means they're echoing even harder. Uh, after he gets MK3, you're never allowed to give him a single creep more after that, basically. So that means uh, you go around with blade shadow. Uh, and you creep everything around his base. After one walker, you make a witch doctor, you put sentry ward everywhere slowly, so you get map vision. And then, um, uh, yeah, then you can effectively deny him creeps. Creep the entire map, don't give him a thing. Go to tier three while making another raider and walker, so you're gonna be two raider, two walker, three grunts. And uh, you expand, and after that you make a bunch more peons, or a goblin shredder if the map has it. You go to 50 food with that, and you eco, and then you have two sentries, one in his main, one in his expansion. So all in all it's really easy. Uh, finally, you make about four bestiaries, three to four, depending on uh, how many towers they have. If they have few towers, go for three bestiaries and start producing bat riders as soon as you get to uh, 1500 gold. If they go for um, if they go for more than four towers base, then you can save up safely to 3000 gold with four bestiaries. Of course, get a quick fortified defenses. Um, have one burrow at your expansion. Yeah, and then eventually you'll have a fight against level 3-1, 4-1 at the worst, and you'll be level 4-3-1. Yeah, the third hero will, will be Alchemist. Yeah, the third hero will be Alchemist. And then uh, you make a lot of bat riders. He's gonna cast Scroll of Protection to protect his um, things from your things, protect his griffins and dragonhawks from your bats. You're going to cast Acid Bomb on his air. You're gonna disenchant his Scroll of Protection, and then you're gonna speed scroll in your bat riders. And you're gonna do two explode. Ah! You're gonna do two explosions on every one of his air. Is it time? 
I will not Master, be trifled with. What you want, huh? Something need doing? Time is short, mortal. What you want? What you want, Master? Stop. Good time. For the Emperor. By your command. For the Emperor. And then if you can, take another base. If it's not Echo Isles, take a third base. If he has a lot of towers. If he doesn't, don't. Naga alt worth it? Mwah. Not really. It's kind of bad. Mana potion. He has to use mana potion if he wants to live. Always split things that are healing against Blade Master so that he cannot uh, tap them all before going into his next wind walk. Mana is important because it is my survivability in addition to my damage. I 
it time? I dreamed of this. Oh, I answered the call. We need more gold. Is it time? <laughs> Research complete. Research complete. Spirit. Work complete. I have pillage now? No. Too bad. What trouble? Gregor, return to the earth. Hook to the head. Show Tagalog. Too bad I don't have pillage, but oh well. Hero focus against mana shield, thinking. I didn't get XP, unfortunately. It was Lady Serpentra, but I hope you accept <laughs> Mirkva. Thanks for the Naga request. That was that was very nice. When uh, he focused Naga and she didn't take any damage. You don't get XP when hexed? Yeah, things that die when you're XP'd, you get no uh, XP when you're hexed. It's a nice strategy. I don't know if it's a bug or intended, but because it's in the game, it's legit because it hasn't been discussed and it's kind of hard to prevent it really. So that makes it a nice strat when you're about to lose something to hex one of their heroes. They, uh, one more interaction you should know about. If they have two heroes and they're both present and you're about to lose a blade, you can hex one of them. They still split the XP 50-50. Um, but it'll be like 50% is lost on the hexed hero and 50% is not. Yeah, I could have brought a mana potion and it could have acted like a health potion, it's true. Why does Beastmaster barely ever use the third summon? <laughs> Uh, it's quite mana expensive and it is harder to DPS with it. Range has an easier time dealing damage in this game. How does Spirit Link work? One Spirit Link goes on four random units, one chosen and three random. And what happens is that I when you take 100 you. damage... I have to thank you. Would love to see her in hot. Same, same. Would love that. My pleasure. Thanks again. If you take 100 damage on the, one of the four units, 50 will go to the unit, and the other 50 gets spread out equally among the four units, as far as I know. So it's 12 and a half each. So 62 and a half on the first, and then 12 and a half on the three others, respectively. I think that's how it works. So it's basically 50% damage reduction. Yeah, the closer you are to a uh, really big army, the more it is like 50% damage reduction. It's not really, but what you are doing is benefiting from your entire army's worth of uh, natural health regeneration, first of all. Secondly, you're benefiting from heal scroll. 
uh, for the whole army. So it is kind of like 30 to 40 percent damage mitigation when you factor in heal wave, uh, regeneration, unit preservation, uh, heal scroll, heal ward. Kind of like 30 40 percent armor. Thank you. 